Hello, I'm Raj Shah. I'm at the University of Colorado uh, School of Medicine and on the GIE editorial board. Today I have joining with me uh, Dr. Madhav Desai from the University of Kansas. He's a first year fellow and we'll be discussing their excellent article which is titled The Impact of Cap Assisted Colonoscopy on Detection of Proximal Colon Adenomas, Systematic Review and uh, Meta-Analysis. Welcome Madhav. Thank you so much and thank you GA for this great opportunity. Glad to be here. So tell me a little bit and uh, tell our viewers a little bit about uh, what the study was about and what gave you the concept of starting it. Absolutely. So as we know, you know, we have been using CAP as a digital attachment to improve adenoma detection rate for quite a while now. And uh, previous studies have shown variable rates of uh, adenoma detection rate overall in colon. And lately, we have been also noticing this rise in trend for right side or proximal colon adenomas as well as uh, contribution of that to more colon cancer. Um, so in short, we are missing the right-sided lesions or rather proximal colon adenomas or uh, um, even uh, cis-ulcerated lesions on the more on right side. We, we are not doing a great job. And this, this concept came to kind of our, like, you know, um, we wanted to do a study focused on this because we noticed very variable rates in previous systematic reviews and meta-analysis uh, focused on use of CAP for overall adenoma detection rate. And as we know that CAP um, helps with visualization in uh, right side of the colon, uh, more sickle sickle intubation or higher sickle sickle intubation rate. So we just had the theory and we wanted to examine the literature um, to see what's the impact of uh, CAP on detection of proximal colon adenomas. And so is this, um, is this a practice that you and your institution routinely do for screening colonoscopy is use a CAP? Yes, it's, it's a good question. So, you know, I think many attendings and many, you know, um, experienced gastroenterologists have been geared now towards using CAP on most of the patients, particularly given their body size. Um, and previous colonoscopy, if there were lesions on the right side or if there were more um, SSAs or polyps that were like detected last time, then I have seen that they have been using it, although there is no standard guideline as per se to whether to use it or not, but it's a good question. Any issues with the cap uh, when you, if you go into the sigmoid colon and there are a lot of diverticuli, do you find that potentially helpful or, or more difficult when you're negotiating diverticuli? I think uh, I think uh, initially it does um, cause you know initial problem, but once you pass through the left colon and then you have better visualization. So I think you you have to account for like one you know minor um, glitch uh, when using this uh, new modality uh, or using a cap. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know like most of the studies they have incorporated experienced gastroenterologist um, who used cap in the research design. So we have to see if uh, trainees, when they use it, is it better, same, worse, mm -hmm. I don't know. So what were the main findings of your study? So the main finding of the study was that um, cap uh, attachment or, um, you know, or a hood has shown to improve detection of uh, proximal colon adenomas um, compared to standard colonoscopy or standard white light endoscopy um, at least by 6%. And this was statistically significant. Um, we had around uh, 5,000 patients overall and 2,500 in each arm. And did you notice any difference in adenoma detection rate in other parts of the colon or was specifically um, the right-sided that was more, so, more detection? So we focused uh, mainly on the right-side um, uh, colonic lesions. We also reviewed the literature for flat adenomas and flat lesions as well as uh, cis-ulcerated adenoma mm -hmm. and uh, diminutive um, adenomas and CAP showed um, you know, higher detection uh, for those as well. However, the number of studies in each group was not more than three and that was uh, one of the issue. And did they, did the studies that you had reviewed, um, did they comment on the use of water irrigation? as an adjunct to the CAP assisted to see if that would help either with intubation or detection? Uh, not the studies that we evaluated in um, our um, like uh, meta-analysis and systematic review here, 
Uh, there were other studies in the literature itself, but we had to exclude them because when we compared um, our studies to standard colonoscopy and uh, standard white light endoscopy, we only wanted to narrow um, studies that included only and only CAP for comparison, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not any other modality. Now, there are some other studies where they used uh, CAP plus uh, chromoendoscopy, and mm -hmm. they have shown a uh, higher detection rate of sisal cell adenoma and um, potential use in uh, IBD population. But uh, we were not able to incorporate those studies because we were afraid that it might dilute or, you know, misguide the final uh, score. And did you note any differences in adverse events? in the studies that they report any adverse events related to the use of the CAP? So the adverse events uh, per se were not reported in all the inclusion studies compared to standard colonoscopy. So we were not able to uh, analyze those results. And what are your recommendations as far as, you know, after this extensive review? And when you do a review like this, you, s you suddenly become an expert. <laughs> you weren't necessarily inten intending it to be that, but you suddenly become an expert in in the use of CAP assistance for colonoscopy, and what would you recommend uh, and your, your co-authors to those that are busy practices doing multiple colonoscopies in a day, whether they should be utilizing CAP for every case, uh, high-risk patients, return patients? What's your thoughts? Yeah, uh, I think uh, CAP should be definitely used when uh, they have high-risk features. Uh, family history, um, any uh, pertinent history where you are suspecting right-sided lesions or previous colonoscopy showing right-sided lesions, then definitely to go for that. If you are expecting a uh, difficult colonoscopy and reaching, uh, you know, cecum, if you are afraid, I think uh, CAP will definitely help with that part as well. But I think we still need more data to guide us. There is no uh, consensus statement or any guideline. Uh, so it, it becomes harder on the side of community gastroenterologists whether they should pursue it or not. Again, it's, it's not costly. Uh, it's uh, something that is like, you know, readily available modality. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, that can be definitely incorporated in our clinical practice. Very nice. Well, thank you very much thank for you joining so much. us. Thank you, Julia. Nice thank work. you.